There's two different types of wax. There's wax which goes straight onto bare wood, and there's wax which goes on top of the shellac finishes we've just done. The reason they're different, one that goes onto bare wood contains a different blend of waxes, and it contains a canuba wax in there which will act as a finish and acts as a sealer. The wax which goes on top of shellacs contains more beeswax and it's just designed differently to sit on top of the polish. This is the Fiddy Supreme Wax. So if someone comes onto the telephone and says they don't really want to spend much time finishing a piece of wood, what's the best thing to do? You can say, well, if you use Fiddy Supreme Wax, you can just put two coats of wax onto bare wood, buff it off, and that's it. Job done. Pros and cons. Pros, obviously, very quick. The economical way of doing it. Cons, it's not as durable in the long term. You might find once, twice a year, you might have to recoat the wax just get a bit more protection and feed the wood. Very simple to use. Take the wax, just like you're polishing shoes. Yeah, they're not a lot of difference really. Swirl it around. Apply it to the wood. We'll give that five minutes. I mean, just like doing shoes, we can buff it up to a sheen and then apply a second coat. And that's that, job done. Now, I mean, earlier I mentioned there's two different types of waxes. The waxes just go on to your shellac finishes and your waxes go on to bare wood. So we, we did the bare wood one here, the clear one. We do it tinted, so <coughs> it will save another process of not having to stain. You can put a tinted, we do strip pine, rugger brown, which is a deeper brown, jacobean, antique brown. Again, I've colour swatch of all the wax colours. So you can go straight onto bare wood with those to give more depth, a bit more colour into the wood. The other wax we've mentioned, which go on top of the shellax, is this one here. And what I brought up was the tinted version, called English Oak, and another clear version called Mellow Wax. There's a lot of these wax in these, they're very traditional antique restorers type waxes. They're slower drying because they're pure turps based and beeswax based. But if you've got an old table at home, which you're quite happy with it, it's got the odd scratch on, then you can put the wax on top of that, give it a few hours before you buff it off, and it'll come out nicely. If you swirl it around like that, it gets a bit of friction, a bit of heat into there, and it melts the wax. It just helps it get onto the cloth, warms it up a little bit. In the summer, it's not too bad. <coughs> and then apply it to the wood. Again, you can use a brush if you want to, and then a cloth to wipe it even. Or a small area, like a piece of wood this size or a table leg, just with a cloth is fine. That can take 10 minutes to a couple of hours to dry, depends on room temperature. But you can see the different colours, that's <coughs> shellac and button polish on bare wood, and that's what we put onto a stained wood. Things you can't do, um, you've just waxed this piece of wood, and you're very happy with it, <coughs> you think, oh I should have put shellac seed on top. Well you can't just put shellac on top, you have to remove that wax. Um, so you want to sand it back or we do a wax remover liquid to help remove it. Someone rings you up, they've got some table legs, they're a lovely character, they don't want to strip them off, but they've got a few scratches on, a bit like your furniture you mentioned, um, and they just want to re make them look nicer. What can they do? Right. Wax may not be enough to hide the scratches, uh, it needs a bit of refurbishment. What Vitashine does is a wax which will remove a slight layer of the finish <coughs> and leave a residue of wax then to buff off. So it's a bit like tea cutting a car. You have to work this product, so not just like applying wax, applying wax, you have to really work it. What you're actually doing now, you're melting the first layer slightly. You're not removing it, but you're melting it and spreading it around. And it's getting rid of all those scratches. But you're still keeping the original finish on there. It doesn't matter if it's got wax on there already. 
or if it hasn't, it doesn't matter. Once you're happy with that, let it dry for 10 minutes. Then you can buff it like other waxes and then apply a coat of your traditional mellow waxes on top. And I've got a wooden bowl. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. Yes. But I've never actually worn it, so I've never done anything with it. Right. right. I think I'm the, cause at least the water resistant. Yeah. I'd like to make it a nice colour. Right, okay. And I've got stained, I've got the door marks and things like Yeah. What kind of colour? It's, it's natural wood colour at the moment, is it? Mm. What colour would you like it to go to? Okay. An oak colour. Okay. Yeah. A, a, a normal natural colour. Yeah. Right. And you use it for food preparation. The best product. Well, I can use it for food. Yeah, that's interesting. Hard wax oil, yeah. yeah, it's a blend of different oils. It's toy safe, food safe, water resistant, heat resistant. So it's brilliant in the kitchen. Yeah, it doesn't matter if you do prepare food on it because it's had a safety test done. All these products, by the way, are food safe and child safe mm -hmm. when dry. Um, but that would be perfect for kitchen environments. Yeah.